All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All the Mods 8 Guys. Last episode, I know I said we were going to be doing some power, but we need to do something because we are running so low on diamonds. Yeah, I've been using them to upgrade here, as you can see, but uh, yeah, we're just, we're not producing enough. So what that means is that I know what we're going to do. Um, oh, sorry, just to get into it a little bit. Um, the main reason why we need diamonds more is because we want to make these red heart containers and they require diamonds. So they give us um, extra hearts. And with the wither skeletons being in there, we have the ability to make a lot of things. Let's grab those. We got a fox spawn egg. Ooh. Okay. So let's go ahead. We're going to take a deep dive into immersive engineering because we need to make the garden cloche. Um, now the garden cloche is one of the best early gen or early game, um, best early game, I guess, uh, farms you can create. Now there are better alternatives, um, but not any that you can get into as easily. And I will show you guys how easy, in fact, it is to get into it. So um, this needs to be a three by three. So it means we need to clear this out, which is OK, because I want to go ahead and pump these items straight into it. So these are going to have to get moved. OK, so one, two, three. And I believe it's solid. Okay. Yep, there it is. This is going to be the Coke oven. We are going to put charcoal into here. No. Did that, did that change? Is it just the wood that goes in? Oh. Okay, so we're going to move this then. We're going to give it its own botany pot. We just got a couple, which is good. Um... Okay, so there's a few things that we're actually going to need in order to get this going. We're gonna make actually quite a few of these Coke uh, bricks here. I would like to have a couple of these guys running. Um, so we got the botany pots. We're just gonna put those in there. Um, cool, so yeah, I guess we're gonna have three of them. We need some void upgrades. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a couple of void upgrades here. We'll make three of them, okay. So, yep, pipe means we're gonna need to make pipe filters. I guess, I guess only one thing is going to be allowed in there. So I guess we don't need to make pipe filters. All right, this hill has always felt just out of place for me. Um, so here, and then we'll do a three block gap. Perfect. One coke oven, two coke oven, three coke oven. All right, so we're gonna put this guy here. We're gonna put the drawer here. All right, and we're gonna do that for over here too. There we go. Now, whoops. Botany pot. There we go. I almost wonder if turning off the jetpack sometimes will be easier, but cool. All right, so we have those. Let's grab some saplings. I'm gonna grab some spruce ones because they don't produce any apples. All right, so uh, adding the void upgrades now. All right, so these, oh, not like that. Like this. Yep, so those guys are good to go. Um, all we need to do is, um, is set these guys to extract. Good. Yep, okay, so those are all rolling. Okay, and the final thing to do is we are going to set up two things. We're gonna set up the uh, drawer for the items and then the tank for the fluid, which is really what we're after, if we're being honest. So 
I need to clear out under here. Okay, so we are going to run fluid over to this one. I don't think we have enough. We do not. All right, so we run that back. Um, what is on fire? Oh, these are on. Oh, okay, that's what's on fire is these guys. Very cool. So these are gonna be taking the fluid out. Um, I messed up. We need to put these one more down. Like so. And that way, so these should all be set to take out. And then we can put these like that. Okay, and then this is going to be for items. And we can just run it down here like so. Oh, can't. I did it again. Okay, and then we set these guys to extract, and then these will take out the items. Okay, so there we go. We have successfully automated the process of getting charcoal, and we actually have creosote oil in here. Cool, now the benefit of creosote oil, why we need it, is because we need it to craft up a specific wood type. So if we essentially make a chest and put this in the middle, we get treated wood planks, which is one of the main ingredients of making the garden cloches. So we're gonna go ahead and make this guy here real quick. We only need two of those. We do need that to go. And yep, there we go, here's that. All right, we're just missing this. So we need two more here. Okay, so we are gonna need one more bucket. And I do believe you can actually replace the bucket with the creosote um, bucket. You can take the dark tank once it's full and swap them over. We're not gonna be doing that immediately, but we will probably be doing it here in the near future. Um, we need this here. Booyah. Cool, so I got some more. We can go like this, and then we should be able to craft up the engineer's workbench. Very cool. So I'm going to put that kind of just over here so we can access it. Uh, the next thing we need to go ahead and make is the engineer's blueprints. So that's going to require copper, aluminum, and iron, which we should have all of these materials already created. So let's see if we can. Yes, we can. Very cool. All right, so we can put that here, and that's going to allow us to make the incandescent light bulbs, which are a crafting item of the um, garden cloche, and then also the iron mechanical component. Um, instead of using four iron and one copper, this will allow us to use two iron and one copper, so we'll get more bang for our buck with that. But yeah, we're going to let this kind of go ahead and cook up a little bit so we can kind of gather some uh, creosote oil to make quite a few of these garden cloches, and we'll be back. All right, so this has been running for a bit here. We've got 214 uh, charcoal. Sorry, I've got a cat trying to get on my chair. Okay, sorry, kitty. Not right now, but anyway, yeah. So, oh, we even have another bucket of that. Um, but yeah, so I just want to show you guys here real quick. Check, oops, check this out. So if you do take the evil craft guy here, you can use it to replace the bucket. So I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. It's really, really handy because this holds 144 buckets. Uh, the only other tank I believe that's better and isn't kind of ridiculous is the Mechanism Ultimate uh, Fluid Tank. This holds 256 buckets. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can use that for crafting. I don't think you can use the Industrial Foregoing Black Hole Tanks, though. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because if I am, I think we should try to do that here pretty soon. Um, dry rubber. Ooh. Yeah, that's the latex you get. Yeah, okay. We're not going to worry about that right now. 
But uh, anywho, let us see here. Okay, so I've got a lot of treated wood here. We got 413, that's amazing. So now we need to work on these guys. We're gonna need some uh, glass, some paper and copper. Um, so we have a stack of that. Let's grab some of these. We will make a stack of paper like so, and then some glass. Okay. All right, so over here, we can just throw those in and we can make a whole bunch. We're low on paper. Let's grab a bunch of paper, honestly. Um, let's make as many of these as we want, you know? We're just gonna make 400 million. I'm just kidding. We're not gonna make that many. But we can make a lot. I'm pretty sure this will allow me to do that. Okay, so now we have three stacks of those incandescent light bulbs. I don't actually know if we'll ever need any more than that because I don't know if we'll have, uh, what is that? A hundred, well, we might have 192 garden clashes. So now the next thing is we're gonna be making some of those iron hammer, or not iron hammer, some iron sheets, I believe is the name. Yes, so. We'll make two stacks of those. And then I think we need copper, right? Yes, let's see. I do have a copper seed up here. It's a lone copper seed. Um, that's not really enough. I did process up some copper here earlier. So let us try that. Yes, we have plenty of copper, perfect. I still love that we have that processing little thing. So yeah, all we need is one stack uh, let's turn that into copper 18 mm, Not that good. Actually, we need we need more uh, Give me a hammer Oh, oh. All right, we're gonna make 192 of these if I actually probably don't have enough glass, but we're definitely gonna try All right, so that's three stacks of these guys so that's pretty cool. Let's step on this real quick. All right, we're at 1.92 million FE. All right, so we are rolling. Look at that, we have enough to make three stacks. That didn't do it. Um, Yeah, we'll put those in there. There we go, three stacks of garden cloches. This is way more than what we need right now. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get it set up. Okay, so we got a space kind of cleared out over here. Um, yeah, we want these guys facing this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna do ten on each side with three in the middle. And obviously we have way more than we need for now, right? We we already went over that. So we're gonna connect these to power like so. Ooh. All right. And then on every other, we'll put some solar panels. Okay. So these should be generating power. I do believe we need to pull power out of the, these guys. All right, as you can see, these guys are getting power, so that's amazing. Uh, we need to get these guys water. So we're gonna make a sink. All right, and to pull items out, all you gotta do is just connect up an item pipe on the back like so. Yeah, so you're just gonna connect it here. We're gonna have a three by three chest system here, just because we've got plenty. All right, and now that we got all the pipes in, we just gotta set these to pull out of the garden cloches. All right, and this thing is completely done. 
Um, yeah, we have a boss kind of guy over here. Okay, he's doing fine. But yeah, this thing is like set up. Uh, I believe this will produce enough power for these guys to run. So I guess now we just got to start moving some seeds in. Uh, we're gonna start up with some iron seeds um, and some redstone. So I want to do if 10. So we're gonna do five, that's 10 on each side. So I need okay. Give me one second here. All right, so I got this set up here. So we're gonna go ahead and put two redstone seeds, two nether quartz seeds, two lapis seeds, two certus quartz seeds, and two copper seeds on this side. Over here, we'll do diamond, emerald, four gold seeds, and four iron seeds. And that's what we'll have here. So temporarily, we can just set up the um, diamond and emerald over here. I need to grab the other essence for our seeds over here. All right, I've got some here. This is the tier three stuff. So we'll put that with the uh, iron. I don't believe it needs a higher, or I don't think the speed of the farm land matters in these so we're just gonna set it up okay so there we go gold and iron seeds are working how are we looking i think we're doing really good on power honestly okay so tier three all right redstone your tier three okay so you can take a tier four tier four Okay, so we're gonna need more higher tiers. Okay, yeah. So the remaining will be tier three essence. All right, so we have some here. Copper seeds, there we go. Certus quartz and lapis, cool. So all of these guys are now good to go. Um, we should be getting some items in here. And the really cool thing is I believe these grow at the same rate as the botany pots, but instead of just one diamond essence, with this you get two diamond essence. So we're doubling what we were getting before. I'm gonna put like a little outhouse around this. So it should look pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I know we just set that up where we want to do power, but the thing is in order to get into to power reactors, we need a steady source of fuel coming in. And that's where this raw uranite is going to come in handy. Because if we smelt this stuff up, it gives us the fuel for the power reactors. One, two, three. So we'll get those guys smelted up here. And what we're going to do real quick is create some uranite seeds okay so one two three four one two three four and then prosperity seeds and this gives us uranite i'm actually going to swap out the lapis in there because we don't actually need it we have plenty and we're going to swap it out for uranite seeds so let's do that so lapis lapis okay Cool, so there's our second uranite seed. Beautiful. Okay, and then we're gonna make the tier five farmland for these seeds. So here we go, and here we go, here we go, here we go. Perfect, so we swap those out for uranite. Those are gonna give us way better seeds. We have plenty of storage for these guys as now again we might end up switching this out to the drawers uh, we do have copper in here so we'll be able to do that uh, but yeah ladies and gentlemen that's gonna wrap up the episode for today if you did enjoy the video please make sure to hit that like button and as always guys don't forget to subscribe but this has been super turtle and next episode we're really gonna get into power i think you guys will like it anyway take care see ya i'm gonna afk for a while Bye. -bye.